It is 90.3 KEXP. We stream all over the world at KEXP.org. And with us here in the KEXP live room from all the way across the water is the wonderful band Jaguar Ma. If you guys are ready, we'd love to hear a couple songs. Yay. Yay. All right. Thank you.
You're listening to Jaguar Ma here on 90.3 KEXP, streaming all over the world, KEXP.org. My name is Troy Nelson, and you guys, thank you so much for stopping by the KEXP today, the KEXP Live Room. It is uh, wonderful to have you. Thank you so much for having us. Absolutely. Now, is this, uh, have you guys been to Seattle before? No, we just arrived about an hour ago. Wow. And uh, have you got to see any of Seattle while you've been here? We saw that thing. The needle. The needle? The needle. The space needle? We saw that. Yeah, uh, the space needle. Yeah. Yeah. You saw that. Anything else? Was that it? You just come to Seattle? Well, no, that's the only that's thing I knew. Right, right. <laughs> that, that was from here when I saw it. Right. It's, You're like, oh, hey, there's that thing. That thing. Those yeah. things are pretty funny because, like, so many cities put, like, have, like, one of those needles to <laughs> sort of make the profile of their city really mm-hmm. recognize. We've got one. But, like, right. everywhere yeah. has one. We've got one in Sydney. So everywhere just yeah. looks the same. <laughs> it, it looks the same, and they're never as big as they you think they're going to no, be. No, they're and so th- underwhelming. Because, yeah. like, we have one in Sydney. Like, no, like, you know, we've got one as well, and it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, just this stupid, like... Yours is better than ours. Really? I mean, yeah, yeah ours says we? Westfield. Toronto, I think, oh. has one as well. Shanghai has one. Yeah. Everyone's got one. That's strange. London's got one. London's got one. Nice. Just get over it. Not necessary. I think Seattle had it first, to be totally fair. Totally not necessary. I'm, I'm hoping so. But you know so. what? We're not architects, so <laughs> uh, what would we know? At least it's a space needle, though. Uh, where I'm originally from in the Midwest, I grew up in a town whose claim to fame was we had a corn palace. It was a palace That's... made out of corn. Okay, see, that is good. But <laughs> that I can get into. You know what's really funny? My mm. friend sent me a cartoon he drew six mm. months ago called The Corn Prince. No way. And it was this piece of corn with a with a tear on and in yeah. and where i come from our school mascot was an ear of corn how you oh, know how lame wow. that is though because an like ear. we'd play teams like the warriors or we'd play teams like the trojans and but we that's were okay and well. we were the colonels but once again <laughs> <laughs> that that's uh, okay because there's like so many junior high school sport teams are always called the Wildcats. <laughs> it's true. That so is it's true. All, it's Being always, the Colonels is almost yeah. It's a bit you know. And we had like a corn cob as a mascot running around. Yeah, you know? that's good. Embrace. Right, but uh, we probably failed in striking fear in the other teams. I, I would uh, <laughs> I would guess that. Uh, so uh, Australia is absolutely out of hand these days with the music coming out of it. I mean, it's just nonstop. What's going on over there? I don't know, something in the water. It really is, because, I mean, music has been coming, great music has been coming out of Australia for a long time. But, yeah. like, it, this, is, this is getting ridiculous. I mean, uh, uh, but I love it. I love well, everything that's coming out right now. Who are some of uh, your contemporaries that you're big fans of right now? Um, well, we kind of grew up with a lot of the bands that people probably know and, like, you know, are quite famous, I guess, now. Like, Cut Copy have been friends of mine since I was like 16 or 17 Mm -hmm. and all of us really so I guess I mean I always love what they do but I think there's also a lot of bands coming out of Australia that maybe people don't know um, that are just as talented like we had this guy who came on tour who's who's touring with us at the moment called Fascinator and he's I mean he's amazing Um, and I don't think you know he's probably after our tour people might start knowing who he is but right you know I mean, there's just as much underground. Well, that, but don't you, that's great uh, that you can take people like that out on tour and get them some more recognition or recognition that they deserve because uh, you guys have definitely gotten a lot of uh, praise for the Howlin' record that you have uh, just released, which congratulations, by the way. I mean, across oh, the board, I've only seen positive things, and it is a fantastic record. I guarantee it's going to end up on, we're doing our top tens. All the DJs do our top tens of 2013 each at the end of every year. I guarantee you're, this record's going to end up on many, many DJs' uh, top ten and, and cool. many blogs' top ten, by the way, too. But still, uh, so with that recognition, you guys have got to travel the world this yeah. year. Yeah, well, I mean... Yeah, like you said, like when we one of the first tours we did last year was with um with was was with Foles, mm-hmm. and I guess you know without using the word I really want to avoid the word exposure, but I just said it, so I fell into that <laughs> old bear trap. <laughs> um, but no, I mean that was just really kind of them to take us on on tour, and they're quite good friends of ours now, and mm-hmm. so it's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, touring touring's been amazing. It's yeah. really grueling sometimes. I don't know if you can tell with my voice, but. I can imagine. Yeah. Now, where do you go after Seattle? Where do you go next? Uh, Frisco. San Francisco, Frisco? yes. And then when do you go back home? We're going on this... Well, we go San Francisco and then LA and then home. Well, well where is home? I guess London. We all live in London now, but um, our families are still all in Sydney. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I'm, I mean, we're all going back to London like on the 16th and 17th. Right. But I don't know where we're headed after that. When we actually go to Sydney, I think. 
Well, I got to Sydney. For, you're going to Sydney. Sydney. Oh, I'm going home, home. You're going yeah. home, home? Mm -hmm. He's going home, home. Who, who are some other uh, bands from Australia? Now, everyone, obviously, you know, there's, there's some bands that are from Australia from the 60s and 70s and 80s that people don't know about, but they should know about. Who would they be? Uh, 60s bands, God. Well, I mean, you you go chronologically, you probably have got the Easy Beats. As the Easy probably Beats. The, probably the first. But you guys, they were quite, didn't, weren't they big here? They had one big song. What was that like? Throw down my mind. You know that song? Like and then, Do it, <laughs> Eagle Rock. And then there was, there was a punk Dad thing rock. with like the Saints and the Birthday The Saints, party, uh, yeah, the I'm Stranded record is one yeah. of my favorite punk rock records. Ready, ready. Gabble, gabble, play every song. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm stranded. Yeah, I'm so far from home. And I then, could hear that all day. Yeah. Through the 80s, we had bands like the Triffids, Triffids. and uh, Go Between. I heard uh, Courtney Barnett uh, name drop the Triffids in one of her songs. Now, have you heard Courtney Barnett? She's a fellow yes. Australian. Yes, I have. She's, and, from, uh, she's she, from Melbourne. She uh, writes some pretty fantastic pop songs, but she uh, name drops the Triffids, who I haven't heard a lot of, but now I want to... Uh, well, no, one of the Triffids members is in the Bad Seeds now. Yeah. Is that uh -huh. true? Yeah. yeah. We, we, we got to meet him recently, which was really cool. Severed Heads. Mm. Huh. And what about the Go-Betweens? Oh, know? the Go-Betweens. Okay, go -betweens. that's a good one. Yeah. Which they definitely got some underground exposure. Yeah. Exposure. I, no, I said the... Yeah, I know. There's that word. word. But it, I think, like, the funny thing with the Go-Betweens is I think that they were actually kind of bigger in the UK than they were in Australia because yeah. they were mm. so, like, they were that whole, like, post-punk thing. And I think... I don't know, just culturally it related more to the UK. Right. And they, like, they, they stuck it out in the UK for about eight yeah. years or something. But they were like, I mean, they were on like front cover of Enemy and stuff like that. And I think if you ask the average Australian now who the Gobertines were, they'd be like... Right. But uh, a bit of trivia, they just named a bridge in Brisbane. They had to rename a bridge and there yeah. was like, it went to vote. And Is it the, the locals named it Go Between Bridge. That's kind of perfect. That's perfect. And makes sense. It's sort of, I can imagine, you know, the other way around, that the band got the name from a bridge called Go Between. <laughs> I'm worried about yeah. your wallet being as big as it is. I it's all pennies, I, I man. read something <laughs> online of, of uh, somebody who had this, like, nerve damage in their back, and it led to, like, their brain, and it was because they were sitting on their wallet for so many years, and it created nerve damage. Oh, that's, that's a worry. Because one, <laughs> because um, one buttock was just Have you other. seen you've seen Trying that Seinfeld episode, right? It, which, which one? George Costanza's wallet is like because oh, huh. he just keeps receipts. all of his receipts, <laughs> and then one day it like literally explodes. <laughs> it's pretty good. I mean, that thing is gigantic. Yeah, it's hideous. <laughs> it's just full of foreign <laughs> foreign currency. Yeah, it's full yeah, of, yeah which yeah, you yeah. can't even exchange. Yeah, you'll just end up throwing it away when Pesos you get home. And we had <laughs> we had like and so far I had Icelandic whatever they are. And then we had like Croatian kroners, like all of these little <laughs> islands that have their own <laughs> micro economies that just don't matter anywhere else. They're just making stuff up. They're like, here, this is money now. Yeah. It's like a, you know, a seashell or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they totally made it up there. That's hilarious. Well, once again, thank you so much, Jaguar Ma, for stopping by here at the uh, KEXP live room. It is wonderful having you, uh, having you guys. And if you would be so kind, uh, one more song would be fantastic. Sweet. We're thank gonna play, you. We're going to play Let Her Go. You're listening to Jaguar Ma live here on 90.3 KEXP. I've become undone, I want my lips stitched back together.
Awesome. Jaguar Ma live here on 90.3 KEXP, streaming all over the world at kexp.org. And uh, all of these songs can be found on the album Howlin', correct? Yes. And uh, once again, congratulations on an awesome album, one of the best records of the year in many people's opinion. And uh, keep it coming, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for having us. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks, you were listening to Jaguar Ma here on 90.3 KEXP. Yay.